Today we're gonna go over um, a video and show you the prep needed for indirect gluing. Indirect is gluing to the walls, direct is gluing to the sole. So today we're gonna focus on indirect prep techniques, getting the foot ready, clean and dry for indirect gluing to the outside wall. So tools needed, uh, first thing is I always recommend people use gloves. We have a lot of oils and residues on our hands and we're gonna be introducing those back into the foot if we don't wear a good set of gloves. First, first thing, glove up. Next thing, uh, we're gonna need a rasp, a wire brush, um, and these actually, you can use a rasp or a buffy. We'll show you how to use either one. We're gonna need a torch. And as you're learning, a moisture meter is a good thing to have to show you if your uh, moisture is removed. So once you kind of get the technique, you can remove the moisture meter. So first thing I do is I, I have a good trim done on this horse first. Um, um, I like, I'm a short toe guy, uh, no leverage guy. So you can see I've, I've shortened toes. He's ready to be prepped. So um, once we get ready to prep here, and I'll do this uh, two ways. I'm gonna do one outside the foot with the rasp. And so essentially what we're trying to do is we're trying to both clean, um, rough and dry the outside wall. So we'll start over here on this side. And um, you, one of the complaints you'll see is you'll see, you'll hear people say, oh, we take away too much outside wall as we're gluing. Um, that's really not the case. So. Um, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to use the corner of my rasp here to both rough and clean. And again, I'm not, you can see I'm hardly taking any, any material away. I'm just roughing and cleaning. And what this does is it creates um, peaks and valleys in the foot to accept the glue. It also cleans it. So I'm going to stop right there with the with the rasp, so that's one technique. So if you don't have a buffy, most people have a rasp that are gonna be doing this. This is one side with a rasp. The other side, we'll use the buffy. So with the buffy, I always want the buffy to be going down. This is pulling material away. And then we'll do this side over with the buffy. And again, you can see we're not, we don't have a pile, a pile of hooks below us. Um, all we're trying to do is get a nice rough, clean surface. So now we've done this side with the Buffy, this side with the Rasp. Same results, so you can use either tool independently. Once that's done, what I then do is a series of three repetitions with wire brush, torch, wire brush, torch, wire brush, torch. Then you're usually good. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to, you can see the dust coming off this foot. So the whole idea is we wanna go around as many times so we don't have any dust coming off the foot. Once that's done, now I'm gonna to torch. It's hard to see this torch with the light, but we don't wanna burn it. We just wanna take out outside, any outside uh, moisture. I'm gonna come around again. And again, you can still see we have dust coming off this foot. All right, that's number two. This is number two with the torch. And again, we're not trying to kill this thing. We're just trying to take out outside temp. And last time with the wire brush, we should be seeing just about all our dust come off. We got a little dust coming off over here. Still got a little bit of dust. Now we're gonna do one more time with the torch. All the way around. And then if you want to test your work with this moisture meter, this is for um, painting, but with the moisture meter, we want zero moisture. And you can see we're at zero, zero. There's no moisture recording at all. If I lick my finger here, 
you can see that we're redlined. So with this moisture meter, I'm not detecting anything. If I go underneath the foot, let me go in the frog area, you'll see that underneath here, I'm still getting a lot of moisture, but we're not, we're not uh, gluing to the, um, we're not doing a direct glue here. Direct glue, we'd be doing a different technique. We'd be cleaning up differently. So at this point, we're ready to go. We can set the foot back on the ground because we don't care about getting that, getting that dirty. We are ready for the indirect glue process.